Bible Storytime with Mr. Todd, a New Life Church production. Oh, I'm so late for church. It's past nine o'clock. I, ah, I didn't even get dressed all the way. Uh, but where's everybody at? And this doesn't even look like my church. What? It's not real. What do you mean? Who said that? It's not real? No. But where's everybody at? Social distancing. Social distancing? Oh, that's right. We're supposed to, we're not supposed to be with other people in large groups. Video. Video? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to do a video for the boys and girls about our lesson this week. I almost forgot. Is this TV? Internet. The internet? So none of this is real? Why, I bet if I would snap my fingers, the image of the church would just disappear. Let's give it a try. One, two, three. Oh, now, where could we go to tell our story? Someplace fun. Oh, I know. I've always wanted to have my own studio where I could do interviews and the news. Maybe we could go there. Wow, they got me my own studio with my own chair and a desk. Wow, I feel like one of those TV people. And you know what? It's not real, it's virtual. It's not a real desk. But they gave me this cool little thing with all of these buttons. I can't help it, but I want to know what they do. Don't touch. Oh, it's okay. Let's see what this one does. What's that? It's like an animal show about penguins. That's not what we want. No, no, no. We got to turn it off. I, we're not doing a penguin movie. Uh, turn it off. Oh, Whew. all right. Well, uh, I know, but uh, there's these things called backgrounds and I don't know what they do. Uh, let me push one and find out. Well, I don't think anything happened. Well, let's try another one. How about this one? Still nothing? Well, how about one more? What? The set's on fire. No. Oh, let's go. Uh, no. Hey, wait. Now we're in space? Oh, this background? No, let's do one more time. But, oh, no, we don't want the cartoon on here. But it gives me an idea. What if we change the background to where we're going to be for our story? What if we're a picture of old Jerusalem? because that's where our story takes place. There we go. Now I think we're ready for our little news story. So I'll tell you what, boys and girls, stay tuned, and we're gonna have our news story about Jesus as a boy. Attention, we have a special report, live from our studios in Jerusalem. And joining us right live, Morgum Candy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Morgan Candy, reporting from Jerusalem on a late breaking story. Apparently, Jesus has been lost. Let's go to our field reporter, Chip Dip, for more. That's right, Morgan. It seems that a very important child has been lost here in Jerusalem. While these streets may seem bare right now, they were literally hundreds of people, if not thousands, going through these streets to celebrate the festival of the Passover. Now, one family. So Chip, can one you tell us how exactly did all this begin? What happened? Where did they come from? Well, Morgan, it all began on one starry night. When an angel after an angel had descended to talk to Mary, the tell her that no, she no, was wait a minute, wait, 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 God's wait. child. Yeah, yeah, we know that part. We, but, but they, wait, no, yes, it, then, yes. Mary, Joseph, manger, donkey, Jerusalem, uh, Bethlehem, star. Yeah, that's the Christmas story. Okay, we okay, get but, that. Are, no, are, no, are, we move right, on. Okay, we need I more. Yes, that was the Christmas story. I want to know what, know what happened after the birth of Jesus. Well, at this time, Jesus, 
Mary and Joseph were all living in Bethlehem. They lived there until Jesus was between one and a half and two years old. Jesus was visited during this time by three wise men who brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But unfortunately, King Herod found out about Jesus and found out that Jesus was being anointed as king by these magi. This made King Herod very angry and he vowed to hurt Jesus. So Joseph, in a dream, was told that he and his family should flee to Egypt. So Joseph, Mary, and Jesus all packed up and went and to live in Egypt. After King Herod's death, they all returned back to the Holy Land, but instead of settling in Bethlehem or Jerusalem, they settled in the city of Nazareth. This would help fulfill prophecy that the Messiah would be a Nazarene. Now we come to today. Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, and their family members and relatives had all come to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover, which is the great Jewish holiday that celebrates God's help to saving them from slavery out of Egypt. So at this time, they were all celebrating, but earlier yesterday, the family packed up and left Jerusalem to head back home to Nazareth. About a day passed, Mary and Joseph thought Jesus, who's 12 years old, was with other family members. But when they stopped to find him, they found out he was not with them. They looked long and hard. So Mary and Joseph returned back to Jerusalem to search for him. Matter of fact, I think we have some video of that search. Yes, there's Mary and Joseph now searching very frantically to find Jesus in the crowd. At this point, Morgan, we don't know where Jesus is at. We just hope that the child is okay. Well, it looks like we've just learned that Jesus may have been found. What's that? He's in the temple. Let's go to our live camera and see if we can see what's going on in the temple. Yes, that appears to be the boy Jesus. And he's sitting amongst the rabbis and Pharisees. And they're all amazed at what he knows about God's word. Uh, we're getting word that Mary and Joseph have also arrived at the temple. There they are getting together. We can't quite hear what's going on. Uh, somebody near the situation has relayed an information. Mary has asked jo Jesus, son, why have you done this? Your father and I were worried they had been looking for him everywhere. And Jesus just reply, oh, truly amazing. He said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that he had to be in his father's house? Well, that's a head scratcher for me. I'm sure it is for Mary and Joseph, but it looks like this story finally has a happy ending that we've been knocking for. Well, Morgan, I guess that's it from Jerusalem. Jesus, Mary and Joseph have been reunited and are headed back to Nazareth where Jesus will grow up to be strong in God's word. Well, I guess that's back to you, Morgan, in the studio. Are, are you crying? I'm not, I'm not crying. This was a beautiful story. Jesus and them all walked off together again. I'm sorry. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our special report from Jesus from Jerusalem. Jesus has been found again. He's gone on home. We'll see him when he turns 30 and starts his ministry. Join us next week for our special report. Jesus the Savior, how he rose from the dead. <laughs> that was such a beautiful story. <laughs> I'm more gun candy. We go. It's okay. Hey there, boys and girls. It's Mr. Todd. No more costumes, but it is pretty neat that I could actually look like I'm actually standing in Jerusalem on one of the streets. There are some things with technology that we could do that we couldn't normally do in our classroom during our big group lesson. But the one thing I miss most is seeing all of you each and every Sunday. I can't wait for the next time that I'm able to give people high fives, fist bumps, elbow bumps, flip kicks, or even the occasional hug. I look forward to that day soon again. But until then, keep joining us for these little videos uh, that we'll be putting out or we'll be using from our curriculum project to actually show you some of the new lessons. 
Now, the next couple of weeks, we're going to be focusing on Easter. Now, if you thought you were going to get out of this without a little quiz, you were wrong. Because quite honestly, when the teachers go back to the classroom, they have the opportunity to review the lesson with you. So hopefully maybe one of your parents could review the lesson with you again. All the curriculum is on, online in the New Life Family Hub. So I have three questions for you today as a review for our particular story. I'm sorry I'm not there to be able to give you stickers, but we'll try to do some other fun things if you get the questions right. So question number one. When King Herod was in charge, he was very jealous of Jesus and he wanted to hurt him. An angel came down, talked to Joseph and said, and told him to escape to where? Where did they tell Mary, Joseph and Jesus to go? Shout it out there in your house. If you said Egypt, you got the right answer. Yeah! So give yourself a round of applause. All right, question number two. When Jesus was lost in Jerusalem, Mary and Joseph searched frantically for him. Where did they find Jesus? And who was he talking to? If you said, in the temple, and talking to the Pharisees and the rabbis, yeah! give yourselves a high five. All right. Now that was very important because the, the people there were very impressed at Jesus' knowledge of the word of God. But of course, since Jesus is both fully God and fully human, he would have known a lot about God's word. All right, third and final question. It's a little tougher. At the very end, Mary asked Jesus, what are you doing? Your father and I had searched all over for you. Jesus simply replied, why did you search for you? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? The question is, who was Jesus referring to? Whose house was he in? That's right. If you said God's house, you got it right. If you got all three questions right, do a little dance. Make a little noise. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. All right. Well, that's our fun for today. I enjoyed bringing the word to you. I enjoyed bringing the lesson to you on Jesus' life. Join us again next week for whatever the videos that we have that are available to, to be put up to learn more about Jesus and the Easter story. Until we see each other again, this is Mr. Todd signing off. But wait. There's one more thing. Mr. Todd has a final thought. Hi there, boys and girls. It's Mr. Todd. No costume, no special effects. Just me with my final thought. It's a final thought about a story that my friend here, the bush, Leroy, I call him. You really think I name my bushes? No, that would be silly. I don't do silly things like that. Right, Leroy? But he's got a story. It's a story he knows well. You see, four months ago, five months ago, Leroy looked a lot different. Leroy had leaves. Those leaves gave him energy, energy to grow. But then came the cold and the snow, and Leroy lost his leaves. And now he kind of looks just like sticks. He's not able to grow anymore. He entered a different season. His life, well, it was kind of put on pause. You know, boys and girls, that's where I kind of feel like we're at right now. Our lives are a little bit on pause. We're not able to see our friends like we'd like to. We can't go to the playground. We may not even be able to see our grandma and grandpas or other loved ones, because we're trying to keep them safe. It's hard to describe what we're all going through. And you know, sometimes I feel down. It makes me sad. I get confused. Why is this happening? And I bet you do too. I bet you have lots of questions. I bet you wonder why, why I can't do this or where we can't, why can't we go that way? Or 
Why didn't we go on the vacation that we were planning? You know what, boys and girls? That's okay. It's okay to feel that way. We all do. Your mom and dad do. But what's important is to talk to somebody. Talk to your loved ones. Help them you know, identify what they're going through so that they can be part of what you're going through too. But you know what? Leroy also holds the key to the next season. You see, it's spring. And I know it's sunny where I'm at and it may not be when you're watching this, but the sun is out and Leroy is starting to get leaves again. He's entered a new season. And that season's spring. And you know what, boys and girls, for us in our lives, we're going to have a new season at some point too. We may not know when it's going to happen. We don't know how long, but there will be a chance for a new season. And in that season, we will be able to go out and play with our friends. We will be able to go back to the playgrounds or back to school and we'll certainly be able to get together in church again. Why am I confident in this? Because of Him. Because of God. God has a plan for everything. God loves us. And God wants to care for us. He doesn't want us to be ha unhappy and sad. But this is somehow part of His plan. And when we trust in God, we can find peace in our hearts. So my final thought is that Try not to focus on what we can't do, but focus on those that are around us today. Focus on the fact that God loves us and focus on the fact that no season lasts forever. It may feel like it, but it doesn't last forever. Well, boys and girls, till the next time we get to chat, may we all be a shining light for Jesus. I hope to see you soon. Bye.